We are in Long Island in front of another handsome comic shop here. Look at this thing. Let's go inside and check it out and see what they got. Let's go. They got all the new comics you want, the big two, the indies, and they got a board game in effect right now. These guys are traveling to another world. Look at this, these guys are hardcore. All right, and we got some uh, new books here. I'll peruse these, see what's going on. We got that Permanent Punisher. Oh, we got the Spider Boy, number seven, the hottest book ever, the 45th version of Spider-Man. Boom. All right, if you believe that hype, should I grab that book? Let me know in the comments. And we have some trade paperbacks, got some statues, some statuettes. Very nice. Nice presentation here. Thanos, the Mad Titan. Triple kill! Nice presentation in this though, right? Very neat. Very organized. That was legitness. And maybe I'll grab some new books. I'm falling behind on DC, right? They got a new, uh, a lot of new uh, reboots out, right? Green Lantern and New Teen Titans. We got a kid section over here. And they have some, oh, look at this, what a great idea. Put a chair by the back issues, put a stool so you can sit down, right? So your lazy buns can sit down and go through the books, man, great idea. A chair by the back issues. How come that's the first time I'm seeing that? All right, let's skim through these Batman here. I will speed it up, we'll do the flash. We'll go in flash mode here. Is this the Batman Rucka uh, era here? I'm Batman. The trade dress is a gloss, is that Grant Morrison? Trade dresses look awesome here, right? Daddy, chill. And these all look like they're in great shape. Everything's bagged and boarded. And is this Paul Dini? Is that Paul Dini run? Very nice. All right, so we got a little cool run here of Spidey. They got lots of back issues here. And that is the bat suit, right? That was a Snyder run we put on the bat suit. Gordon put on the bat suit, right? All right, let me know if that's your if this is your LCS, if I'm missing anything. Did we name the store yet? Oh, you know what? We didn't get into the store. We should, um... What are the back issues? Oh, the button. This is an awesome miniseries, man. And it's Flash and Batman when you wiggle it back and forth. Little lenticular. That was like the best book in the uh, King run. But that was Jeff Johns, really, right? All right, and maybe we'll go through some other back issues, and uh, they have some deluxe editions in the back I want to look at. But where are we? Should we give a proper introduction? Where are we? All right, we are in Port Jefferson, Long Island, and we are going to Red Shirt Comics. So check it out, see what it's about. It's a beautiful downtown here, Port Jefferson. So i never been to the shop before, and I happen to be out in this area. So let's see what they got. They got any new books? or back issues or wall books or whatnot. So uh, let's go inside and see what they got. Let's go back in the shop with these back issues and we got Beneath the Planet of the Apes, the best in the franchise, the most pulpy, right? That was a favorite when I was a kid. And this is the Treasury Editions and the uh, Premiere format. These are all magazine size. And we have Love and Rockets for you indie heads out there. Look at this, in uh, magazine size or treasury format there we got a bunch of indie books and we have a bunch of uh, statues and we have death metal signed five people signed this thing dark knights metal dark knights metal dc darkness all right and then we got x-force here right a little classic action all right guys i grabbed some books so come with me and i'll show you the books i got uh and we'll see a quick look at them I broke down and I bought the Spider-Man book on the left there. Kind of a trendy book and they're beating it to death a little bit. There's too many Spider-Men. But this is New and Edgy Spider-Man. New, and, We never heard that before. A New and Edgy. Second printing there. But that's kind of a good book to grab. On the right, that artwork is already iconic, right? This Stan Slot book is only out six months. And that artwork on the right is already kind of iconic, I think. Let me know. The Shazam on the left here. We got Chris Samney did that cover work. It's the guy from Firepower, right? I think it looks so awesome. I just grabbed this. They rebooted the uh, Shazam, but that cover is terrific, right? This is a variant. 
And he's the guy who did Firepower, right? I don't know, it has like maybe a Darwin Cook feel to it a little bit. On the right was a Jeff Lemire book. It got good reviews, so I thought I'd grab it. And these are the books that are getting uh, rebooted. There's a new Teen Titans out. Uh, I guess just called Titans. And Tom Taylor's on that book. So they got some good creative power. And Green Lantern number one on the left is Jeremy Adams. He was writing The Flash for a while. He was doing really good on The Flash. So now he's on Green Lantern. I thought I'd pick this up. Give it a try. And we got Void Rivals here. The Robert Kirkman book on the left. He bought the uh, properties of Transformers and G.I. Joe. And they're supposed to merge in this book into this universe. And on the right, we got Big Game, Mark Millar. And it's going to be the Millarverse. He is going to combine all of his indies into a universe. And you see Nemesis standing there, right in the back. So they are all going to be combined there. And then we got World Tree, the James uh, Tynan book. Uh, I grabbed that. I think I got a couple copies of this already. But it was kind of a cool book. And on the left is Barnstormers, man. The artwork is just terrific. I have the foil cover, but this is the regular cover, cover A. Look at this artwork here. This just fits the storyline perfectly. It's like that Robert Redford movie, the Waldo Pepper movie with the uh, trick flyers. But look at the mer The artwork just fits this time era they're trying to capture. It's like form and content emerging, making Aristotle proud. Form and content merging, people. All right, how many books do we get? Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, got ten uh, books here. Let's go back to the store and see what we got. Let's go back to the store. In the back, we got a bunch of trade paperbacks, some omnibus, some graphic novels. And we have some deluxe editions that I wanted to check out. Look at the size of these books. Look at this Kirby and Stanley books. You can't fit these out the door. You might have to open the window and fit them out the window. You might have to bring a friend, help you carry that book. It was ginormous. And we have uh, also, they had a bunch of uh, deluxe editions of Marvel and DC. They have some great eerie books here. Looks like they're all sealed though, so we can't open them up. And we got some uh, EC books. That's good that they're repressing, they're reprinting all this stuff. And look at the size of the Stanley and Kirby. They gotta be the big boys on the shelf, right? They gotta be the big time. They gotta be bigger than everybody else. It's a contest, people. It's a contest. Who's got the big one? All right, and we have uh, X-Men design book. That's an Ed Piscor book, right? It's supposed to be the history of the X-Men in condensed form. If you want to catch up really quick, it's supposed to be a kind of a cool book. And what other books should I grab here? You saw all the books that I grabbed. So what else uh, did I miss? It? Oh, You've Been Cancelled is there. That's supposed to be a great indie. I missed it. You've Been Cancelled is there and I didn't grab it. See what happens? You're missing all this stuff. There it is. Right in the middle. Grab it, Dave. Grab it. Ugh. Oh. Alright, so they had a bunch of uh, cool indie books that are out. And the store has some traffic in it, people coming and going. And uh, we got a, a game, we got a hardcore a board game going on in the front there. I don't know if they're doing D&D &D or what. And this cover is terrific, right? Look at that. It's got that classic feel to it. And that you got to pay extra, right? It's a dollar extra for those variants for the cover stock. And we got Night of the Living Dead horror book here. And I think it's three issues, and it has the real screenshot from the movie. I don't know if it's the actual script printed into uh, comic form. This cover is already iconic, right? That Spider-Man cover, that Dan Slott run, it only came out six months ago. And it's already uh, as iconic as the Spencer run number 55, the Spiderweb cover. All right, that was Red Shirt Comics. And it was a really cool shot, man. Really well put together. And... Uh... The owner was there. It looks like uh, he had a bunch of great books. He had a little uh, discount, I think, on the books. And uh, I grabbed a lot, of, a lot of new books. A lot of new books that I've been missing. I've been missing, I missed the Titans. Uh, got rebooted in Green Lantern. A lot of DC stuff. So I picked them up because he had them on the shelf. And I got that damn Spider Boy. I don't know if you know I got that. I feel bad buying that. But it was such a trendy, silly book. And it was a second printing, so I grabbed it. I don't know, they, they sucked me into it, right? Behind Red Shirt Comics, they have a parking lot. Behind Port Jefferson to downtown Main Street. They have a huge parking lot here. It's like immediate parking. I'm not sure how it works. But I think it's like a dollar for an hour or something. But uh, plenty of parking behind Main Street, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, see all the cars back here. I better pay right so I don't get a ticket. I guess Red Shirt is like Star Trek. Is that what it's? Uh, the Red Shirts? Uh, let me know if that's your LCS, if I missed anything in the comments below. 
if there's something special about that store that I didn't uh, that I missed on that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.